Hello all. Today we'll see how to solve a problem which is asked in one of the Amazon data engineering um, position. So this is a SQL question which was asked in an Amazon uh, interview. So this is the question or this is the problem. So you have a table uh, contains columns name and sequence and uh, if you see there are three names A, B and C and sequence you have a list of numbers and if you see the numbers there is a sequence here 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is a single sequence and here the sequence breaks and 7 and 8 which forms one more sequence and again here the sequence breaks 10 is a single digit and again for B it is 11 and 13 which are which do not form a single sequence and two different numbers and C for C you have 15, 16, 17, 18 so this is one sequence so here when I say sequence it means list of continuous numbers so 1, 2, 3 and 4 is a list of continuous numbers 7 and 8 is a list of continuous numbers 10 is a single digit I mean single number with uh, uh, no sequence so yeah this is the output we require so for each sequence for each name you need to calculate the minimum and maximum so for this a 1 2 3 4 minimum is 1 max is 4 and again for a 7 and 8 minimum is 7 and max is 8 and for again a minimum is 10 and max is 10 because there is only one number in the sequence and for b since uh, there is no sequence here mi uh, the minimum is 11 and 11 and max is 11 and again for 13 minimum is 11 and max is 13 sorry minimum is 13 and max is 13 and for c in this sequence minimum is 15 and max is 8, 18 so hope you all understood the question so now let's go back to sql server studio and see how to solve this so i have already created a table name name with columns name and sequence and i have already inserted the required data so let's see what the, what's the data so yeah this is the output i mean the input data and now to solve this we need to be aware of or we need to learn about rank dense rank and row number functions so i hope you all are aware of what those functions are so let's use row number here so select star comma row number over partition by name ordered by sequence so as rn from sequence data so I'll, I'll run this query and let's see what's the data output here so if you see you have a rank uh, based on the name partition uh, so for e, for this name a you have one two three four five six seven for all the seven entries and now what we see here and also for b you have one and two and c you have one two three four so now let's try to see how to get the required output so what i will do i'll just add one more statement here comma sequence minus i'll my, my, uh, subtract the row number which i have written out at the top as rng i just created a name uh, a new column with name rng and if we execute this so this is the output so if you see sequence 1 2 3 4 and rank 1 2 3 4 the new rng column which is the subtraction of sequence and the rank is having the same value 1 2 3 4 has 0 and 7 and 8 has rng as 2 and 10 has rng as 3 and for b we have 11 and 13 so it's, they are not in a sequence uh, the rng values are different and for c you have 15 16 17 and 18 and the rng values are the same because they form a single sequence so this is the most important point so you need to understand or you need to get the idea of to subtract the sequence and the row number so this is the main point if you get this logic you will be able to crack the solution so now after this what i will do so I'll keep this in a CTE with CTE as and now we'll use a simple group by select name comma minimum of sequence 
as min min value max of sequence as max value from C to B. So here I'll have to write R and G as well. And here group by name comma R and G. So when I run this, let's see what's the output. So this is the output. We have name, we have minimum value is one, four, and for R and G two, which is seven and H. And for uh, uh, RNGS3, it is 10 and 10. And for B, it, you have 11 and you have 13. And, C for, and for C, it is 15 and 18. So let's run this output together to see <coughs> if you are getting the required output. So, yeah. So for A, it is, this is a single sequence. So minimum is 1 and max is 4. And again, here 7 and 8. Minimum is 7, max is 8. And for A, again, this is 10 and 10. For B, it is not a sequence, so B has two entries 11 and 13, 11 and 11, and 13 and 13, and C it is 15 and 18. So, but in the output, we don't require this RNG column. So, what I'll do, uh, I'll keep this in the one more CTE, CTE, and I'll just write select name, comma, min B, comma, max V from CTE. So this is just uh, just to get the required columns. So yeah. So hope you like this video and you understand uh, what I have done here. Let's see in the next video.